Hello, in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to solve the problem of Microsoft Jet OLEDB 4.0 and Microsoft ACL OLEDB 12.0 provider is not registered on your local machine. This video tutorial is presented by Sachin Sami powered by tech.pdecry. Okay, here I have Windows Server 2012 machine. Basically, the solution which I am going to show you here also works on Windows Server 2008. So I have been logged in. Let's minimize the server manager. And let's download some files before we start. Let me open Internet Explorer. On the Internet Explorer, let's type G W O G E L Google. Okay. Here I am going to type a keyword that is Peter Kreis which will point to my blog. Let's open the text secret Peter Kreis blog. Okay, there you go. Now as you can see, I have already created a blog to solve this problem. You will find the link for this blog at the bottom of the video description. In this blog, I have given all the information which you require to solve this problem. At the bottom of this blog, you will find some links. The first link is Microsoft Access Database Engine 2010 as you can see here. And the second link is 2007 Office Driver Data Connectivity Component. And the last one you will see here is used to test the OLDB connectivity on the IS. This is basically our website. Now let's click on the first link. On the first link we have to download a file. For my scenario I am going to download the second one that is a 64 bit version. I have clicked on saved and it will take something around 3 minutes or something. Let's minimize this and let's go back. Now let's click on the second link. Okay. Now let's also download this one. This is 2007 office system. Click on download. Click on save. This will take something around 6 minutes or 8 minutes something around. Okay. So let's minimize this again. And let's go back to our blog. And the last one. This is basically a small web application which will going to help us to solve the problem of OLDB provider. We are going to host this web application on our server which is currently facing the problem. So let's download this file. Let's click on file and click on download. Okay, there we go. Click on view downloads. The downloading will take something around 5 or 10 minutes. So what I am going to do is, I will just close this and uh, pause the video and resume it once it is downloaded. So wait for a moment. Okay, the downloading has been completed now. So let's open the download folder. Here you will see 3 files. Access database engine. Access Database Engine 64-bit and Testing OLEDB. Now first we are going to extract this file that is Testing OLEDB. Okay. Let's minimize this and minimize this too. Oops. Okay. Let me open this again. Okay. And here you will find two Excel files. As you can see the extension that is XLS and XLSX. And there is also a web application. This is ASP.NET. 
basically built on C sharp. Now let's copy this and let's go to in dot pub www root and paste it over here. That is testing OLDB site. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure this website on the IS. To do so, first let's open the server manager. On the server manager, let's click on tools. Internet information service IS. I have already installed the IS. That's why it is showing me over here. Click on the computer name. On the computer name, click on sites. On sites, right click. Add website. Type down any name which you required. I'm going to type OLEDB. Okay. Now here give the physical path to the directory which we have just saved. Okay, let's go to C drive. The in dot pub ww root and testing OLEDB site. Click OK. On the port number. I'm going to type one more 80 that is 8080. You can use any port number you require. Okay, now let's run the website and check it out whether it is working properly or not. Okay, it is giving me an error. Basically, this website is built on .NET Framework version 3.5. So let me change the .NET Framework version for this website. Right now, it is using 4.0 as you can see here. Let's click on advanced setting and the version number that is 2.0 I'm going to select from the drop down. Let's click on OK. Let's rerun the site once again. Let's click on browse. And as you can see, it has been opened successfully. Now we are going to test our OLDB connectivity. Let's click on Browse, select the desktop, there are two files which we have selected, this is xls, as you can see dot .xls and this one is dot .xlsx. So first we are going to select dot .xlx, okay, I have given the path and I am going to click on Upload. As you can see, this is giving me an error, access denied to the path. Mainly this error occurs because the file or directory does not have a write permission. So let's go to the path where I am uploading the Excel files. So let's click on OLDDB and click on explore. Here you will see upload Excel folder. Right click on that folder and click on properties. On the properties tab, click on security. From here, click on edit. Select the user, IS user and give a right permission and click on apply and then OK. OK, close this and once again, let's browse the website by clicking on browse. And now let's click on browse again. Okay, select the file that is test file 1. Okay, and click on upload. Now, as you can see, it is showing me a different error. The Microsoft Jet OLDB 4.0 provider is not registered on your local machine. Once again, let's click on browse. Okay, select the file that is XLSX. Click open, upload. As you can see, another error. The Microsoft ACL OLEDB 12.0 provider is not registered on your local machine. Let's close this. And now we are going to solve this problem. Let me minimize the IS and let's go back to our download folder. Here are two files. First, I'm going to install Access Database Engine 64 bit. Double click on the file. and it has opened here okay as you can see now let's click on next accept the terms and condition 
click next select the path and install it will take a moment ok it has been installed click ok ok back on is click on browse and let's see what happens when I upload the excel file now that is xls x file which I am going to upload now click on open and now click on upload ok here as you can see I have successfully able to upload the excel sheet now let's see what happens when I upload the xlx file let's click on upload once again it is giving me an error the Microsoft Jet OLDB 4.0 provider is not registered on your local machine. So let's go back to our download folder and let's install Access Database Engine. Let me double click, minimize, accept the terms and condition and click next. Select the particular path, click on install. will take few moments ok it has been successfully installed click ok let's go back to is and click on browse once again let's see what happens now when I upload the xlx file select the xlx and click open upload and still now it is giving me an error Microsoft Jet OLDB 4.0 provider is not registered on your local machine to solve this problem let's go to the OLDB and the application pool of the IS this is the OLDB that is the application pool for that particular site select advanced setting enable 32 bit application it is right now false from the drop down click on true click ok and now let's go back to our OLDB website click on browse it will take few moments as the application pool has restarted now click browse select the file that is xlx click open and click on upload here as you can see we have successfully uploaded the xlx file let's select the xlx s file that is the second one and click open there it is also working now so both of the excel file format are now working let's close the internet explorer ok let's right click on an OLDB explore and here you can see on the upload folder all the files which we have uploaded let's close this and also close this one and also close this thank you for watching our this tutorial if you like this video do give the thumbs up subscribe to receive an email update when we post a new video Share this video with your technical IT friends. If you are facing any technical problem or have any suggestions, post your comment here or you can also catch me on Google Plus or Google Talk. This video tutorial is presented by Sachin Sami powered by tech.pdegrice.com.